Hello guys and welcome back. We are developing our Africa and we're doing pretty well with it, I think. I think we are. We actually colonized a province, you know. That's a pretty big deal. We expanded. Did Congo expand? I don't know, other African has successfully expanded, but I seem to have. I must be better. The logic is strong. The thing is, if I get next to these Muslims, am I going to be able to get cheaper tech stuff? Because these guys have Miltex 7. They're obviously better. I don't want to have to go over there and end up dying to figure out. Oh fuck, this is about to happen. We just take away all of their gear. Right, you're no longer part of the clergy. Oh, that works. Now they're disloyal. Oh, well. So you get for being a dick trying to take over the country. Merchant guilds. Give it to merchants. You okay, get mate. Really, they still demand control of land? Really? It can't be right. Yeah, give, give money. Give support. Now that. Right. You tell me I can't get a tech still, even though I've just done all that. All those extra points I just took. Where is the tech? Here it is. Yeah, come on. 01? I don't want to wait till 01. Just give me it now. There we go, one more tick and we'll have it. Because we only need two powers. I don't know what that uh, estimate's all about. It's wrong. Very wrong. But oh well. Wait, what Miltech am I? I'm Miltech 6. I thought these guys were high on 7. They're not actually higher than me. Alright then. That's, that's pretty cool. It's like a start getting to people I can smash. We'll be able to expand a lot more. 70, 80, 90, wait, 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 if we can send these guys a gift, we can start their annexation. 70, 80, 90. Need 25 gold. Ah. Ah. I would like to annex them to get rid of them and all their issues and have their soldiers be part of my army and stuff. Then I can look about just annexing this idiot. How can it possibly need more land? The idea is absurd. Alright, come on, debt, go away, nobody likes you. But I could pay them money and start to integrate them. That could happen. I sure there's no other ways to get the relations up. What's this gain stability, gain prestige, or gain diplo power and gain prestige? I don't like stability because I always lose it anyway. I've gained power points and power and things. Right, if I sent you a gift, 25 relations. You will be annexed. Annex Vassal, it won't even take that long. Very nice. Get it going. We call you. Good, that's three whole provinces. Seven, five, and eight. I haven't done much of them. You're in nine. And these guys have all the points down here. I've got a twelve, a ten, a four, twenty-four, five. There we go. It's all starting to look a bit better for Africa now. Just gonna have to get rid of my debts, as always. And this nonsense. But hey, colonization. 
It will happen. Already 12%. Come on, let's get these guys in. But those guys, they're going to start supporting my vassals. So they better not do these guys. Oh no, they're actually pretty cool. Diplo rep, pretty high. Is a march, obviously knocks them down. Evoking their march status will piss them off by quite a bit. The sooner I get rid of it, the sooner I can get their relations back up again. So I think it's like negative 100 or something. Making them independent. How would one do that? So I can attack them. No, we're fine. Ah, my march has a reason to attack these guys. We can do a conquest on them. And these lots will help me. His money will also get rid of my debts. That's a good idea. We can use his money to get rid of the debts. Use the excuse that we're expanding these idiots when we're not. Just try to get onto the province first. Provinces they want. They want all the provinces. Ah. That's quite a shame, because I don't want these guys to have any more lands. You, maybe, because you can be integrated, but these guys, no. Not at all. I also have their two generals as well, so the war, I could get it without risking my own king or chieftain, whatever he is. Well, let's have another tick. Let's go to war with this guy. He has no friends. We just march, and he's tech six, but six over here, six on me. We'll end up with twice as many men. Well, that's sick. These idiots too supportive. Very nice. Let's wait for this year tick as well. Declaration of War. Conquest for Unduga. Friendlies can attach. Friendlies can attach. They don't seem to want to come over. That's a shame. Did I land here first? Yes, I did. Which means I get to control who does and doesn't get land. Obviously, I want land. Not these guys. So you have basically twice as many men. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Go siege our fort, would you, man? You'll enjoy that. That's another thing. All the capital forts are pretty, pretty good. Something's concerning. Right. Not a huge fan of negative free stability while we're at war. Right, everyone. Let's go fight his army. Then we'll go back to the siege. Try to die more than I do. Right to you, right to you. Very good. Let me just chill out here. He's taken the siege, which means he might try to uh, hold it. That's obviously an issue here. But he's about to be annexed anyway, so what's what's the big deal with him? It's, he's not going to be able to core of this land before we integrate him. There's no gain there. Ay, 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 ay. That's this whole negative free stability nonsense. Let's knock it up just one. And hope we don't lose it again. I don't know. Can he as a loser force me to accept it when I'm on negative free? Say he offers me something which is very good. And I have the war score and negative free stability. Am I forced to accept it? Or does that only work when you are losing a war? I don't know. Okay, I actually got all of it. That will cost me hardly any aggressive expansion. And over extension, of course, me the admin already have to do it. Give me all of your monies. Not that much, obviously. I won't quite get rid of my debt. But they help a lot with it. Hmm. 
Could leave them one province to try and farm money off them. They will always be there. I'll always have claims. And every 10 years, I'll just go over and attack them to take their stuff. Keeps that back as well. Alright. The idea has been had. Right, you. I want no rising up, please. Get cord. You. I want no rising up, please. Don't get cord. You. No rising up, please. Get cord. You. No rising up. Get cord. Right, army. Go home. Corruption. Oh, now I'm going to lose money for all these issues, aren't I? Oh, lovely. Oh, at least I can repay my loans and can't take more because I can't afford anything anymore. Um, I'm not going to get any money off that guy either. But hey, this guy is uh, 15 years. We're going to take you over and your money. I hope you don't mind. I actually gained cash. What the? Huh. That fortress must have saved us enough. Let's see if I can keep my, my, my uh, army up. That'll help out a lot. Well, these guys are all going to be wanting to rise up. Oh no, this is my army now. Yeah. Creation is slow progress. Gain prestige. Mix these armies together. You are now an estate. Ah, he's an unaccepted culture. Let me call you now, though. Now we lose monies. Let's see exactly how many is we lose. After this. So, the merchants demand more control. Trade power one, trade power one, trade power that. Right, you go to the traders, yes? The merchants, which increases my money. Very nice. What if we give them this as well? Merchants. Good, a tenth for ducats. That sort of money is sort of level we need to be making extra of. I mean, disaster. Eternal conflicts. Ah, unrest. I get unrest plus five. Ooh. But I can't get rid of it. But I just have to wait. Till stuff is caught and such. Please help, cause. We need you. Right. Oh, that escalated quickly. Breaking your march. How much relate? I'd be nice to know how much relation it actually lock knocks down. If the game could like add that as a tool tip, that'd be great. Here we go. Money. We now make profits. We get rid of the corruption. We get rid of the uh, interest. We lower the army size because we quite frankly would need us after these rebels have gone away. Then we can start colonizing again. How terrific. Hey. But the army has to stay until these rebels are gone. Because the rebels are going to be strong. Very strong. Come on, cause. Get your get your life together, will ya? Get it sorted out, mate. Yeah, so good to get rid of that guy. He was such a knob. Very good. It costs like no admin to core as well. Because it's so dirt cheap. There we go. Make a state. Don't mind if I do.
Culture accepted. Nice. Alright, what's this? Nobility demands control of stuff. Alright, who's the poorest? You're all pretty poor down here, right? Nobility. Very good. Slawless states in the country. Not for long. Looming disaster. Still a boat. Too few rivals. Burundi will have to do. Hey, Burundi. The good war of anyone you bought a Burundi. <laughs> right. Influence. Relations. I want to send them an insult, don't I? 5th November. Very good. Take that. Right, money, half a ducat. These guys are still being idiots. I don't really want to pay my admin to have stability, but you know it's not going to work out. I could, and then I could start doing my colonization again. No extension to call will do it. Overextension, yes. The overextension will fix it. Okie dokie then. Come on, you get caught. Very nice. Very nice. Your autonomy will not stay that high. Clergy influence has gone all the way down now, so I'll give you to the clergy. Thank you for that bit of ducats. Very good. You still want to rise up, you still want to rise up, you still want to rise up. Barely though. So we will knock this army down to a... That much. I need to be making two ducats. There we go. So that's all cover the... Actually, we don't even need to be paying you guys anymore. So there's three. Our loans, we still have one loan. Oh, that's good. We'll be out of debt. And I can concentrate purely on my colonization. Okay. Yes. We'll colonize Shaga and we will be the kingdom of the lake. Very nice. And we just keep trying to make money and eventually we'll be able to be the best in the world at everything. Come on, seriously, where is this loan at? Oh, it's a 27 coin loan, okay. Fair dues. And bye bye And hello. When's he going to arrive? Shaga. There we go. The Kingdom of the Lake. Or Chiefdom of... The Kingdom of the Lake. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys next episode where we will just continue with our growth. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.